look at that. At the beginning of this year, I went on a road trip to seek out Vigier's unique Excalibur Surfrita Supra fretless electric guitar. So um, let's go. Why do guitars have frets in the first place? The frets divide the neck into multiple sections and serve as a guide to the player. They create a tension point that alters the sound of the guitar and follows Western music's standard of semitones, also known as half steps or half tones. When there isn't an interruption between the bridge and the nut, it creates a very different sounding instrument. Okay, this guitar is right now perfectly in tune, but when I play it, I'm not gonna sound in tune. And that is through no fault of the instrument itself. Imagine the frets like a safety net or stabilizers on a bicycle. When they're taken away, you suddenly feel a whole lot more vulnerable. It's going through a two rock studio signature combo. And here is just an E minor chord. And in this case, I definitely fell off a few times. It acts like an orchestral stringed instrument. Your intonation has to be really, really on point. But for most guitarists, because of frets, that skill just isn't necessary. Now, I used to play the viola right up until I finished university. So I am well aware of how important ear training is as a musician, but Frets are definitely something I take for granted nowadays. Although I had a limited amount of time with this guitar, I had a lot of fun. I found chords absolutely impossible. For those of you that wanted to hear my original song Primrose played on fretless electric guitar, well, I answered your prayers. No one asked. No, no one wants to hear that. <laughs> So who makes these guitars? You might have seen me playing two electric guitars, one green and one white, in pretty much all my videos and on stage. Those guitars are made by Vigier, a French company who are celebrating their 40th anniversary 
this year in 2020. A few facts about this fretless model. It's got a two-piece older body with a maple neck, the wood is naturally dried for three years, and the scale length is 25.6 inches. It has a slick chrome iMetal fretboard, which makes it difficult to film, and it also has a humbucker single coil humbucker Dimasio pickup configuration. Before you move on to other videos, you should definitely check out Guthrie Govan, Bumblefoot, or Tom Monda of Thank You Scientists playing their Vigier fretless guitars. I relied heavily on open strings to get my pitching right and to keep my ears in order, but I also played around with alternate tunings just to get a few minutes of okay sounding music on film. I'm just gonna try some open tunings now and see whether or not that helps, but I'm getting a little bit more confident. The electric guitar is already one of the most versatile instruments in the world, and there might even be a pedal that exists that will make your guitar sound like it's fretless, but I really, really encourage you to seek out one of these guitars and have a go. It just opens up a few more sonic possibilities. To me, it has similar tendencies to pizzicato cello or the sitar, and now I really, really want one. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to sign up to my newsletter for information on my upcoming guitar courses. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and comment below with your thoughts on Vigier's fretless electric guitar. And massive thanks as ever to my Patreon supporters, some of whom you will see their names in the credits at the end of this video. If you want to find out how to get your name in the credits of one of these videos, then there is a link in the description too for that. But otherwise, I will see you soon.
over and out. <laughs>